Ahoy, ye scallywags! Captain Zone here, and today I'm going to be bringing to you a very special piece for Pirate CSG. It is the Chum Maker. Uh, this is one of the rarest ships in the game. Uh, I got it for pretty much a steal, and today I'm going to be building it. Uh, it's a very, very rare piece, and I'm going to go on ahead and just break the seal here and Oh man, I can just hear all the collectors groaning. Oh man, alright, well, it's uh, unsealed now, no going back. Let's go on ahead and build this. It's been quite a while since I've built a scorpion type ship, but we're gonna wing it. And uh, here we go. Been searching for this ship for a very long time. Uh, I actually managed to get the Chum Maker story insert and everything whenever I was a kid. And I just never got around to uh, sending it along with the booster packs, like the wrappers, to WizKids. Because that's how you would get one of these, is you would get that story insert, which was a 1 in 10 chance of getting it. in Because uh, there were 10 stories. And whenever I had it, I just never got to send it in because I didn't really understand how uh, the mailing system worked to where I lived. But uh, now that I finally got it, I can add it to my collection and then eventually play with it in a game. And this is definitely one of the coolest looking ships, too. I've seen so many pictures online and stuff, but I haven't seen a video on someone building it yet, so I figured why not, you know? So let's go on ahead and get the base part first. Let's see here. Got those little white ball things that you gotta peel off sometimes. Go on ahead and uh, be very careful with it because it is rare, extremely rare. I want to rush it. Although you could probably uh, ask Ben if you want to speed build. <laughs> I wouldn't want to speed build one of these though. Don't want to risk it. It's a beautiful ship though. Can't wait to uh, see how it turns out. There we go. Very precise. It's been a long time since I built a scorpion type ship, but I think I still remember how. And I do have the instructions here just in case, but I don't think I'll need it. There we go. Now the tricky part is going to be the blade, if I remember correctly. This nice chrome blade. Uh, fun fact, this, uh, the Chum Maker story has, uh, Sammy the Skull featured in it, which is pretty cool. He's one of my favorite, like, characters in the, uh, lore. Aside from, like, you know, El Phantasma and Davy Jones. Okay, let's see. Uh, don't think that matters. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. It's not quite in. There we go. Beautiful chrome blade. Love it. And it goes in here. But before we actually do put that on, let's put this on, like half of it. And then we put the blade in, and then we close it off with the other half. That's how I used to do it. There we go. Come on, there we go. Yeah, looking good. Looking very good. Then we do this. There we go. There 
There we go. Gotta be very careful on this part. Yeah, looking solid, looking solid. There's the blade. Yeah, just testing that out, make sure that's good. All right, now for the uh, upper deck. Let's see, this part can be tricky. Sometimes it, it is, sometimes it's not. It just depends on how they cut the ship. It looks like this part right here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. All right, so now, if I remember correctly, it's the big mass first and then the little mass next. Now the question is which side is which? Uh, they didn't really, I don't think it really matters. I always, pro tip, whenever you're putting mass in, never do it from the top like this. Always, always go down to the bottom and just kind of wiggle it. This, uh, this will improve the chances of you not breaking it. There we go, like that. And you just wiggle it in. Voila. Second one. That one's a little bit tighter. Just based on how they cut it. There we go. And that one, look at that, it's got a cool little skull on it. Just gonna wiggle that one in. Oh, come on. There we go. And the last but not least, you cannot fly a ship without her flag. So the Curse Nation will get her flag on the chum maker and just like that you have a beautiful ship ready to uh take to the high seas and i'll be able to play this uh, next time i play a game with some friends of mine and my brother be able to uh surprise them with this because they don't know i have it yet and it'll go well with my team of uh, the uh, dragon here, my sea dragon, and my octopus, Terox. Terox and Raptor Ma will definitely serve the Curse Nation pretty well. And that'll do that for this video. Hope uh, everyone liked it. And yeah.